Esau and Jacob, Isaac's and Rebekah's twins. The first set of twins we know from the Bible are born in exceptional circumstances. Rebekah is barren, so Isaac, her husband, prays to Yahweh for her fertility. As a result, she conceives not one, but two. The twins jostle in Rebekah's belly. She doesn't understand what is going on, so disturbed, she asks Yahweh. The Lord said to her, Genesis 25, 23, Two nations are in your womb, and two peoples from within you will be separated. One people will be stronger than the other, and the older will serve the younger. This prophetic answer reveals that the order of birth will not reflect the order established by God for the twins. The message is reinforced by what happens at their birth. Esau was the firstborn. But, Genesis 25, 26, his brother came out with his hand grasping Esau's heel. So he was named Jacob, meaning heel, but also to follow, to overreach, to supplant, or to deceive. The meaning of Jacob's name is strongly manifested in his relationship with Esau. First, he trades a bowl of lentil soup for Esau's birthright of the firstborn. What a barter! What a deal, right? That, of course, couldn't have happened without Esau despising his own birthright. Genesis 25, 32 and 34, and Esau said, Look, I'm about to die, so what is this birthright to me? Thus Esau despised his birthright. The second Yaakov moment has to do with the blessing of the firstborn. Isaac wants to bless Esau, his favorite. Rebekah devises a risky and deceitful plan, so her favorite can obtain the blessing of the firstborn. The plan succeeds. Isaac is misled. Jacob is blessed. But at what cost? Esau now wants to kill his twin brother. Now an escape plan is needed for Jacob. He has to run. Some other complications follow. And his parents die without being able to see him again. I'm just asking. Wouldn't there have been a better course of action with less pain and maybe no deception? Shalom.